Good evening, everyone. I'm Miss Lori. This is my daughter, Abigail. And we are going to lead you in some fun songs. Let's get ready to sing. I will sing forever of your love come down. With my hands to heaven, shout your praises loud. I was lost in darkness till you pulled me out. I will sing forever of your love come down. I will sing forever of your love come down. With my hands to heaven, shout your praises loud. I was lost in darkness till you pulled me out. I will sing Sin has shackled me, but God in heaven heard my plea. Jesus, Jesus, rescued me. Jesus, Jesus, rescued me. I will sing forever of your love come down. With my hands to heaven, shout your praises loud. I was lost in darkness when you pulled me out. I will sing forever of your love come down. I once was blind, I could not see. The chains of sin had shackled me. But God in heaven heard my plea. Jesus, Jesus, rescued me. Jesus, Jesus, rescued me. I will sing forever of your love come down. With my hands to heaven, shout your praises loud. I was lost in darkness when you pulled me out. I will sing forever of your love come down. I will sing forever of your love come down. I will sing forever of your love come down. kids, it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and put your right hand on your heart. If you have a hat on your head, please take off the hat. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Awana flag, which stands for the Awana Clubs, whose goal is to reach boys and girls with the gospel of Christ and train them to serve Him. Great job singing, Clubbers. Now stay tuned for story time coming up right now. Hi, guys. Pastor Dana here, and uh, it's so good to be able to greet you guys this evening. 
and I can't wait uh, to be able to do so in person, face to face. Uh, won't that be great? And we can all get together face to face again. For now, I have a question for all of you guys. I need you to help me out with this. Who is your favorite superhero? How about um, Iron Man? You know, he's he's really really smart. Uh, and he can fly uh, even. Who, who doesn't want to do that? Or what about what about Storm? Uh, you know, she's that lady from the X Men. You know, she has white hair and she can control the weather for Pete's sakes. Or what about the Incredible Hulk? Is there anybody stronger than the Incredible Hulk? But who's your favorite? Who's your favorite superhero? Maybe it's even somebody different. Do you know what has always been really interesting to me about superheroes? It's how they got their powers in the first place. Uh, take, for example, this Iron Man guy, Tony Stark, who was, he's incredibly smart. Yeah, he had a lot of money too, but he was able to build this incredible Iron Man suit. Uh, or what about the Incredible Hulk? where Dr. Bruce Banner, another really, really smart guy, by the way, had this accident in the laboratory that covered him with this green gamma radiation that changed him into the strongest person on Earth. Didn't do, didn't do much for his complexion, though, but that's another story. Or even like this storm lady from the X-Men. She was, she was just really born uniquely different. But I have news for you. So were you. That's right. You, each and every one of you, have your own unique gifts and powers. Not by accident. Oh, no, 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 no. And not because you were just smart enough to make yourself a superhero. superhero. Like Tony Stark, although all of you are pretty smart kids, you're not that smart, but each of you are superheroes because God, the God of all creation, loved you so much that he made each and every one of you uniquely, wonderfully, and purposefully. Now, I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know you're sitting there and you're thinking, come on, Pastor Dana, why would you say that? Actually, I didn't. God did in his holy word. Uh, hang with me for a second here for a, a, a minute. And let's look at a couple of verses in scripture, like Psalm 139. And in that Psalm in verses 13 and 16, King David is speaking with God. And he says this, you formed me in my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Then he says this, my frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. Isn't that beautiful? You are fearfully and wonderfully made by the God of all creation starting from the inside out. That is your superpower. You, each and every one of you are loved by the commander of the universe. So much so, he carefully knitted you together in your mother's womb from the beginning. But God didn't go through all that work merely to have you be this carefully crafted standalone superhero. Oh, nope, no, he didn't. I don't know if you knew this or not, but superheroes have super purposes. They have things they have to do. They just don't sit on some mountaintop and fold their arms and say, I am super. What kind of superhero would that be? Take this puzzle piece, for example. It has a particular design, a particular shape that speaks to its particular purpose. 
Standing alone, this single puzzle piece could never hope to accomplish the plan intended by its creator. Well, God has a plan, a grand design, a grand purpose for you as well. To renew all of his creation into the right relationship with him. That's part of his plan. And because he loves you so much, he designed you fearfully and wonderfully, that means with great power, by the way, to uniquely participate in his grand design, his grand purpose. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that exciting? Don't you feel super right about now? I know I do. Now, you may be thinking, okay, that's, that's, that's good news, Pastor Dana. Uh, but when do I learn how to fly like Iron Man or smash cars like the Incredible Hulk? Well, I can't promise that you'll ever be able to do any of those things. But as you grow and mature and participate in programs like Awana here, you'll learn more about the love that God has for you and all the unique ways that he's gifted and designed you to participate in his super mission, his plan for your life. Now, I mentioned before this puzzle piece, uh, skillfully, intentionally, purposefully shaped. And I mentioned before how standing alone it has no chance, no chance whatsoever at completing its purpose, just like you. But when joined into the body of Christ as originally intended, watch this, watch this, stay with me now, watch this. Standing alone, all by himself, not much superpower, but and join with the rest of the body of Christ. Superpower! Well, guys, uh, I got to go. I got to get back to my mission. Uh, have fun today, you little superheroes. And we'll talk again real, real soon. God bless for now. Bye-bye. And now it's time to join Zoom for your specific Awana group. Zoom links for Cubbies, Sparks, and TNT can be found in this week's Awana email. See you soon!